Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is on a new palette from Nomad Cosmetics. This is the Paradise Islands palette. It is so, so colorful. I cannot wait to dig in, show you what these shades look like. I'm going to be doing some swatches. We'll create a couple of looks with this colorful palette. This is like screaming, screaming summer to me. So beautiful. And I simply cannot wait to get started. This is not the biggest Nomad Cosmetics palette that I own because the ones that they have previously sent me and here they have 15 shades and this one has 18. It is also definitely one of the most colorful or more bright because I feel like they are all colorful but sometimes the colors are a little bit more opaque or a little bit darker. This one has bright, vibrant, happy colors. Again, it screams summer and I can't wait to create a couple of looks with this one but first First, let's go ahead and do some swatches. Here is the color Bora Bora and Sun, Sky, I had to go back for a little more, and Moon, Mana, Muria. Moving on to the second row, we have Fish, Tiki, Turtle. Turtle looks really pretty. Then Shark and Stingray. Last row, Uahine or Uahine, Ocean. Dolphin. Lastly, we have some purples. This one is Whale, Seashell, and Tahiti. I just realized when swatched like this, this totally looks like a rainbow. So take a look right here at the beautiful shades. As you can see, they're all very, very colorful and we have a really good combination of mattes and shimmers. I cannot wait to play. All of these, as you saw, were super easy to swatch. All of them seem very nice and pigmented. And from what I know from their formula, things are always really nice and blendable. So I'm hoping to have a really good experience with this one. This palette, by the way, launches April 5th, which is tomorrow, the day that I'm filming this video, but might be a few days ago when you're watching. And I do have a discount code with Nomad Cosmetics, so if you decide to go for the palette and want to use my discount code, the discount code is PATTY10, which saves you 10% off. The packaging of this palette is a super sturdy cardboard, which is what Nomad Cosmetics usually does. The palette is cruelty-free and vegan, no parabens, phthalates, or mineral oils, and it was made in China. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some looks. As you can see, I have mascara on and eyeliner because I was wearing a different eye look earlier today, but I took it off and I prepped my eyelids with the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Primer. Let's begin with this eye, and I'm going to use the color Sky first on my refer number 15 brush, and I'm just going to place that color on the crease of my eye with my brush. A little bit more back and forth and just blended. To darken up the color sky a little bit, I'm going to use the color Stingray. Let's see how this goes. I'm just going to press it on my outer corner first. That is very, very pigmented. I really like the way that looks. So outer corner with Stingray. And then I'm going to start blending it upwards by doing patting motions with the tip of my refer number one brush. Finally, I'm going to run my brush through any edges and try and blend it into the color sky which was what I applied at first. A little bit more Stingray because I did really like how it looked vibrant but I wanted to make sure I blended it out into the crease as well. But now that I blended that upper edge I'm going to intensify the color on my outer corner and back with my refer number 15 just make sure things look blended. Okay obviously I love the way that's looking. So pretty. I wasn't sure what color I wanted to combine it with because I definitely wanted to do different colors, but I think I'm going to do... Ooh, hold on, maybe I'm still not sure. Let me grab the color Sun. I'm going to grab the color Sun right here and apply this color on my eyelid. Okay, yes, I'm liking the way that looks. I want a color for the center of the two and I'm wondering if this would work. You know what, I'm just going to do it. I don't care. We'll see. I've had to wipe things off before and it didn't kill me. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. I like that. Okay, 
a little bit more confidently this time I'm going to grab the color fish and just add more of it to the center of my eyelid blend it with the pink and then back with my refer number one I'm going to tap over that edge so that things blend seamlessly Ooh, I like that that is so pretty back with my favorite color stingray on a refer number 26 this time because of course we are going to put it underneath the eye so I'm just going to place it right down here on the outer half just like we did on top I wiped off my brush and I'm going to grab fish and put fish right under here center of the under eye and blending it with fish ever so slightly okay I got a little fallout I'm dusting it off wiped off the brush again back with the little sun and we are going to put it on the inner third next I'm going to grab Bora Bora and place Bora Bora on the inner corner of my eye Ooh. I love this okay I have to change my waterline color because burgundy is not it and am I going to wipe it off no I'm not I'm going to put a different eyeliner over it and hope for the best this is makeup geeks was this royal no ultramarine hello it's me are you kidding me are you guys loving that as much as I'm loving that I would like to thank nomad cosmetics for always getting me out of my comfort zone because I think this is beautiful I would have never thought of this look unless I was sticking to a palette that is that has these colors and I'm obsessed with the way this looks okay love it let's move on to the second one I don't know what we'll do over here either but hopefully it's half as good as that <laughs> brushes are clean I'm going to start with the color tiki and this is going to be my crease color for look number two very pigmented that blended right away I want to darken it up with the color lizard so I'm going to pat Lizard right here on the outer corner of my eye. Patting, patting, patting that shade in place. And with the tip of my refer number one brush, I'm going to start blending it into my crease shade. Back with my refer number 15, just to make sure everything looks really nice and diffused. This is how I've been choosing what colors to combine things with, because I'm not sure. I'm thinking this one, just to like make it look different. Definitely not pink. I'm not feeling the orange this is but I'm not sure like I'm not a hundred percent on that either maybe my contrasting color is going to be purple I'm grabbing seashell on my refer number 13 and I'm going to put seashell on this inner half of my crease here just blending it on the inner half of the eye so then I'm going to use the color Tahiti and pat Tahiti on the center of the eye towards the green Ooh, Tahiti is a beautiful shade I love this purple I'm not sure if I love it with that green but I love it back with the green because we are committed to making this work just tapping it over the edge still not sure about this one but I think I have a plan <laughs> Do I have a plan? Going in with Bora Bora on the first half of my eyelid. Bringing Tahiti forward a little bit and back with my refer number 13, just mixing it all right here. Definitely not loving that as much as I did the first look. The first look is so fun. Time to perform makeup surgery. <laughs> with my q-tip the main shade that I didn't like was Bora Bora there I don't think it worked so I'm going to try shark there because why not the worst that can happen is I take it off again but I really wanted to use this one earlier so maybe it'll work who knows and this is a reference number 26 I'm using for a little precision let's bring back Tahiti which is our dark purple shimmer I feel like this is so pretty without that green. I think the green is what I'm not loving because these shades are beautiful. Hmm. 
Should we perform makeup surgery on the green now? Definitely not loving the green, so say goodbye. Makeup is definitely about experimenting, and if you don't like something, it washes off, you know? Not a big deal. We're going to prime again. Press the primer on again. I know this looks bizarre, but hopefully I can patch it up with whatever shade I decide to go with, which is still undecided. I'm going to take whatever's left of that green up here. I don't like it. I see green hues and I reject them. A bit more seashell up here and more seashell. This time on my number 15 brush because that has to be your crease color. What is happening outside of my room? I was saying we're going back with seashell on my reference number 15 this time and patting it on the outer corner, blending it through my crease. I think I know what I want to do now and I hope it turns out pretty. I think it will. Going back with a little Tahiti and I'm just going to stamp it back here just using my finger. And then with my reference number one, I'm going to grab this shade down here and stamp it on the outer corner. She is pigmented. Oh, wondering if I effed it up again. We'll see, we'll see. No, I think I like this, I think I like this. I think I have to blend it better, but I think I like this. So I'm patting that blue, blending it into our crease shade. This blue is like one of those shades that doesn't like to be blended, that you just have to tap on and it eventually just kind of blends by tapping. I know this looks a little bit like a mess, but we had a lot of surgeries to recover from. <laughs> a little bit more shark. And we got some fallout because of all of the messing around with things. That looks good. That looks good. I have to put a little bit of concealer on right now, but I think we recovered. <laughs> Refer number 26, and I'm going to use the color Whale right here on the inner corner of the eye. Ooh, she looks pretty there. Let's bring her in a bit. Okay, okay, I'm starting to like what I see. Back with this shade on a different rougher number 26. And I'm going to build it back here. Then with a little bit more seashell, we are going to go all the way in underneath the eye and also diffuse the blue. A little bit more shark right under here to match the eyelid. The blue still looks patchy back here and I'm not sure if it's because the blue is patchy or because we had one too many surgeries. I feel like it might just be that the blue is patchy because I did prep my eye again. See how it goes away? You press it and then it goes away. So I'm not a huge fan of that blue because it blends away a little bit, but overall, I did really like the eye look. Let me go ahead and do like a light blue shade on the waterline. I'm going to use this one from NYX in the color Blue Trip. Take a look right here. This is the second look. I'm obsessed with this. It looks so green now in comparison to the blue and purple that's going on here, but I feel like when we first put it on, it looked a little bit more teal than green or maybe it was just me i don't know i do think this looks so freaking stunning let me do some lashes i'm back i went ahead and put on some lashes redid my bottom lashes cleaned a little bit of fallout from underneath my eyes i would definitely recommend if you go for the palette to do your eyes before the rest of your makeup because fallout will most likely happen and here are my final looks honestly Obsessed with both, especially now that I cleaned this one up a little bit. The only issue I had with this palette was with this blue shade right here because I feel like it kind of goes away a little bit when you try and blend it, but every single other matte that I used, even the ones you're not seeing on my eyes because I took them off like the greens, all of the rest of the matte, which I pretty much used all of them except for Dolphin and mana up here but this is not actually a matte anyways 
the rest of the mattes gave me no trouble at all whatsoever. They blended beautifully, built beautifully, etc. This blue right here, a little bit finicky, but I got it to look the way I wanted, which at the end is what matters. All of the shimmery glitter shades that I tried are absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with Shark and Tahiti back here. I had a really good experience playing with this palette. I love the vibrancy and pigmentation of the shades. I love that it's kind of like a rainbow palette and the packaging of course beautiful again if you're interested use code patty10 at checkout so you can save 10 percent off and do i recommend it i mean i really love the looks i created today and i wouldn't recommend it if you don't think you're going to use the colorful shades but if you're into the colorful shades then definitely go for it let me show you both looks one last time without distractions here's look number one which I have to admit, it's still my favorite. That teal green shade was unexpectedly beautiful. And here is look number two, which has blue purple vibes and I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed. Please let me know down in the comment section which look was your favorite one or two. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to subscribe before you leave so that you don't miss out on any future content like this one. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for spending some time with me and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.